Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us here today. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can make some fun animations using simple mechanisms. To start with, here's the materials that we'll be requiring for the project today. We'll be requiring cardboard. This can be some packaging material, pizza boxes, anything of that sort. We'll be requiring toothpicks, um, scissors, blade, a scale, pen, pencil, and glue. And also we'll be requiring tape. Apart from this, uh, there is uh, attached in the description below, there are templates that you can find that look like this. These are basically all the shapes that we will have to be cutting out for this mechanism. You can either print this out, stick it on your cardboard and cut it, or another thing that you can do is just all the measurements are given here, so you can draw it out on the cardboard and cut it directly on the cardboard itself. So we've gone ahead and cut out the required pieces out of cardboard. Now you'll also notice in the uh, templates that there are these dark circles. These circles indicate the uh, parts that have to be uh, cut into, meaning we have to put a, a tiny hole in these parts. So how we can do that is using a, a, either a needle, just we can take the needle and sort of pierce it through where we want the point, or we can use a pen and then we can expand the hole using a tiny pair of scissors. Or we can even just directly use our toothpick and make the hole, because that's what's going to be going in through this hole. So let's make the holes on the circles. Now a good, um, an easy tip for this is sort of keep three circles together and poke a hole through all three of them at the same time. That way you know that the hole is in the right place always. Right, now we can do the same, we can stack these three up, use one from the other pile as a reference and pierce a hole. This is pretty easy to do with a needle since it's long. Now that this is done, what we'll do is we will use a toothpick to expand the hole a little bit. So once again, let's take three of them. Yeah, there we go. So now that we have this, what we're going to be doing next is sticking these three together so that they form a stack like this. Right? We need two stacks like this. This is going to be the discs that are rotating in our mechanism. So let's go ahead and stick that. While the discs are drying, let's also go ahead and take these six, or these six small rectangles. We're going to create two stacks of three each and glue them together as well. So let's finish that up. Once this is done, we can go ahead and there's two rectangular pieces you have with these two holes cut out. Now these are the holes through which the actual uh, rod sort of moves through. So, but what we have to do is we, when the rod moves in, we want to ensure that it doesn't move in weird angles like this, which is why we're going to keep two of these rectangular pieces a little apart and then put the rod through it so that, so that the rod doesn't have too much to give to keep moving. So for that, we're going to use these two rectangular stacks that we just made. We're going to be sticking them between the two rectangles. So now we have the top part ready and we have the two discs ready. What we're going to be doing now is actually making the rod that goes through the top half. So to make this, what we're doing is we're going to stick out of the four rectangles that we have, the larger ones, we're going to be making two stacks of two each. And now what we have to do essentially is take one of these pieces and stick the rod something like this. 
Now if you have a hot glue gun, this should be relatively easy to do. You can sort of place it like this and glue it around. But in case you don't have a hot glue gun, we're going to be using tape. You have to be a little careful when we do this part because the rod itself is pretty um, fragile since it's cut out of cardboard. We want to keep it such that the flat part of the rod is facing the longer part of the cardboard. So we can just tape it up like this and quickly take another piece of tape and put it on the other side. Once again, this is best done with a hot glue gun, but in case we don't have a hot glue gun, we can do this at home. So now this is in place, and if it still uh, has a bit of wiggle room, you can put another layer of tape on the sides here like this. So we're going to be doing this to the other rod as well. And the next thing we have to do is assemble our discs together. For doing this, we're going to take two pieces of toothpick. If you have something longer like a refill, that might work, like a pen refill, that might work as well. But if not, you can use a toothpick. And put the toothpick through both of the discs that you have assembled. They should now be dry and firm. Once you have this, just keep them over the Keep them over the small discs here. Make sure they are... They should be apart such that they cover the holes. Once that's true, turn one around and tape them. When we say turn one around, this is what the top view should look like. One of the circles should be facing the right and the other the left. Now once you have that, tape this. So let's just get some tape again. and such that they are the right distance apart and tape it. If this seems to be difficult, you can also just put tape on one and stick the other on the tape once you know where it's going to be. So now that we have all the pieces ready, we can start assembling the mechanism. Start off with, we have to these are the rods that will be moving up and down, so we will put them through the cardboard. So this is going to be essentially the top of the mechanism over here and this is going to be the bottom. Now these gaps here are to insert the top into. It works as a stand. Right? So we'll insert it this way. Once we've inserted it, let's put the, let's push this as top as it can be and put the toothpick through the little holes that we have cut out on this board and then attach the other side as well. So same thing, we'd have to put the top half through the rectangle that we've cut out and the toothpick through the little hole that we have punched out on this piece of cardboard. And you're done. Once you have something like this, what happens is that when this disc in, is in the top position, the rod is all the way up. And as the disc falls down due to gravity, this will fall down as well. Now's the fun part. We can actually animate this to do something. So we're going to be adding two small frogs here so that it looks like these two frogs are jumping up and down in the opposite face. So you can even try other designs like by increasing the number of discs to five, you can make things like a dragon, a caterpillar. You can also just make this the hands of a person going up and down and just attach a drawing of a body here. So thank you for watching this video and do share your work with us at Paper Cream Lab. Thank you.